Today, we are driving to Sweden to pick up a Hasselblad X-Pan. So if you've landed on this channel for the first time or you've missed my recent adventure to Sweden, let me update you. Last week, I packed my van, boarded a ferry from Newcastle to Amsterdam and headed to Sweden to collect said Hasselblad X-Pan. And welcome to the Netherlands. My plan is to stop in each country I pass through, find somewhere to camp and take at least one photograph in that country. In my last video, we stopped in the Netherlands to photograph windmills before shooting staircases and sleeping in the van slap bang in the middle of Hamburg. Well, we've just left Hamburg and I am currently driving onto a ferry which will take me to Denmark, which will be the next stop before finally crossing the border into Sweden. That ferry crossing just cost me 120 euros one way. I couldn't believe it. All right, so that wasn't too bad, about a 45 minute crossing. I'm 120 euros lighter in the pocket. And uh, we are here, we're in Denmark. So we'll go find a park up, hopefully find a nice place to shoot this evening and tomorrow morning. And I will talk you all through exactly what's going on, why I'm buying a Hasselblad X-Pan and why I've decided to drive to Sweden to collect it. I want to wander out of the valley where the river takes us far away from home. All right, so we are coming up to our park up, our Danish park up for the evening. I found this place on Park for Night. All right, so this might just be one of the uh, the best park ups I've had the pleasure of staying at. Well done, Denmark. It's another camper van. Just there, you see it's got its pop top up. There's a couple of these shelters that have fire pits. So if you wanted to, you could have a fire sit in the shelter, come with your van, park up. There's no restrictions, no signs, there's bins, there's a toilet. And there is a trail that follows the coastline there. Well, I think it's a fjord. So it, the trail goes around. So I think we're gonna explore that. I'm gonna check Google Maps, see if it looks like there's anything of interest. And then, yeah, but it's getting dark, man, and it's clouding over. So I'm not convinced that there's gonna be anything of uh of worth to shoot but hey we'll see all right so i think i've found something that might be worth shooting you see that blue dot just there that's where we are and if i zoom in on google earth we can see this there you can see that there that structure that looks like an old jetty or an old pier and it's facing west so if we do get any light tonight that could be well worth shooting <laughs> So there you can see the jetty just behind me there. That's a structure I spotted on Google Maps. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think that would work as a shot, but yeah, there's not going to be any light. I think this is salvageable. I think we need to start thinking long exposure, fine art photography. So let's see if it's worth popping a polarizer on because sometimes it makes a massive difference. And I tell you, sometimes it just doesn't make a difference at all. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that gives us black water. This is great, dark water. Oh, this is, ah, uh, so I'm <laughs> getting excited. So I've got the case magnetic filter system with a polarizer and a four stop ND filter. Now I'm just lining up my composition. It's getting so dark, 30 seconds, F11. Uh, this is your classic moody kind of fine art photography of a half broken pier. I'll be honest with you, I don't think this is my finest piece of work. Well, it, it is what it is. I think we're really clutching at straws. Um, so I'll head back to the van, get some food on the go, and uh, yeah, discuss the star of the show, which is, of course, the Hasselblad X-Pan. So in 2018, I was lucky enough to borrow a Hasselblad X-Pan. And that was the first time I'd even heard of this camera, let alone used it. And I thought it was fantastic. If you don't know what a Hasselblad X-Pan is, it's a 35 millimeter film camera that shoots panoramic. So it essentially shoots two 35 mil frames side by side. And it's such a beautiful format. Anybody that watches this channel will know that I love a panoramic image. It's just, it's such a, a pleasure to shoot. And ever since using that X-Pan, I've always wanted one, but back then they were expensive and now they're crazy money. So I can never justify buying one, but 
few weeks ago, me and Simon Baxter hosted a meetup. Um, about, about 50 or so people came. We hired a field. We had a bit of food. Everyone brought tents and camper vans. And we all camped out. It was fantastic. And actually, if you're interested in that kind of thing, sign up to my newsletter because that's how I sort of announce meetups and stuff like that. You know, I like to keep things like that off the main channel. Uh, anyway, at the meetup, I met a gentleman from Sweden. And it just so happened that he had a Hasselblad X-Pan. And I said in passing, oh, if you ever happen to be selling that X-Pan, give me a first refusal because I tell you what, I have a quite fancy one. This gentleman emails me not too, not too long after I met him and he said, Tom, I'm selling my X-Pan. So I thought, oh, perfect. But I was a bit nervous because X-Pans are crazy money at the minute. They're incredibly expensive. But he said he would sell it to me for the same price that he paid for it about six years ago. So I'm getting a very good deal. And now you might be wondering, well, why are you driving to Sweden to pick up a Hasselblad X-Pan? Well, that's just, I don't know. There is no, <laughs> there's no sensible answer to that question. And I just thought to myself, what a perfect excuse to take the van overseas, bit of a road trip, make a story out of it, make an adventure out of it. And that's it, that's exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't make sense. It's costing me a flipping fortune. Um, so if you want to support the channel, I've got a calendar for sale. Um, you know, 12 images from the last year or so. Beautiful calendar, I'm really proud of it. Uh, if you want to help me indulge my um, gas, my X-Pan gas. So yeah, it makes no sense. But for me, photography, it's all about the unknown, the, the adventure and the story. And yeah, okay, admittedly, uh, so far the photography on this trip has, has not been great. But when I get to Sweden and I get the Hasselblad, we st I'm staying there for a few days. You see, up until that point, driving through the Netherlands and Germany and here to Denmark, it's been go, go, go. But when I get to Sweden, we'll get the Hasselblad. I've also got my 501 CM in the back. So we'll be shooting film. We'll be slowing right down. We're going to a beautiful national park ah, and it should all come together. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today's the day. We're driving to Sweden. So I do have one concern about this journey. There is a bridge that takes you to Malmo in Sweden. That is a toll road. I've heard horror stories of how much that toll road can cost. Now, a friend of mine drove his motorhome over said bridge and it cost him over I might be exaggerating, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was like either 140 or 200 euros. And I'm already 120 euros shy from that ferry crossing to Denmark, which I thought should have been a lot cheaper because it was only a 45 minute crossing, but hey ho, we'll see when we get to this bridge how much it's going to cost us. Hi. Hi. Uh, just, um... You just have to go forward a little bit. Oh, sorry. How much is that in euros? 55. 55 euros, lovely. 55 euros, and now we've got custom, so I better turn off the cameras. And that is Sweden. Two questions at the border. Where are you from and where are you going? Straight through, no problems. Oh man, my timing couldn't have been better. The autumn colors are just really coming out right now. It's fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long drive, but we are here. Finally, the end of the road. I go no further. And I believe this is the gentleman who is going to hand over the Hasselblad X-Pan. Hello. So the handover has been made. <laughs> it felt like I was doing a dodgy deal just outside of the van there. But I'm going to give you a quick look at what we've got in the bag. And then we're off because I tell you what, the colors are beautiful and I really want to go and shoot a few frames with this to round off today's video. But this has got a bag full of goodies here. So, of course, this is what we came here for. This is what we've driven all the way to Sweden for over the past four days. This is a Hasselblad X-Pan with a 45 millimeter lens. It's a thing of beauty. Now, it looks a little bit scuffed and a little bit worn, but it's not. 
That's just this camera. Hasselblad X-Pans are notorious for paint chipping because I don't know what it was. They couldn't develop a paint that would stick to the titanium body, something like that. But there we go, 45 millimeter lens and the body, of course. And we also have a 90 millimeter lens, which I think is gonna come in very handy for the type of images that I wanna shoot this afternoon. A couple of spare batteries for the camera and a bunch of film. We've got some really interesting films. We've got some Cinestill 50D daylight film, but here's the films that I am really interested in. We have a roll of Ektachrome 100 slide film. And I think that is what I'm gonna shoot with this afternoon, try and get all of those autumnal colors popping. But look at this, the holy grail of um, hipster <laughs> film photography. We have some Cinestill 800T. Now, if you're not familiar with Cinestill 800T or film photography in general, well, this is a film that was originally developed for, well, cinema, so cinematography, but it's been developed into a still film. And the qualities of this film are that if you shoot neon lights in a city at night time, essentially they glow, they pop, it has a look to it. I've seen a lot of work done with this film and it all looks fantastic. So I'm excited to see if at some point over the next few days I can shoot this, but none of that's important right now. All that matters, matters is that we go and shoot a couple of frames on the x -Band. I'm gonna go with Ingmar, who is the gentleman who just uh, handed over the camera and we're gonna go for a walk and a nice little shoot. All right, so that is the film loaded. We have a 90 millimeter lens on and I'm just shooting this yellow birch tree that's across this lake. Here we go. So there is a, uh, a beautiful little scene down here. Just um, all of the leaves are obviously falling off the tree that's above me and landing in the lake and there's some beautiful droplets of water on the leaves and nice collage of colour. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work as a pano and I'm not entirely sure I can focus it and I'm not entirely sure I can get the composition as I want it. It's going to require some awkward tripod trickery. Here we go. There we go, that was a sixth of a second at f8. probably won't work as a photograph, but I am attracted to the colour of the yellow leaves and the way that they're distributed. There you go. So there you have it. I am now the proud owner of this Hasselblad X-Pan. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited about this camera. Although the shoot that I've just done, that, I was just, I was just having a little play, a little walk around and, and get into grips with this camera. But I'm going to take it on a proper photo shoot along with the Hasselblad 501CM over the next couple of days so hopefully you're going to see a bit of more in-depth photography video next week rather than me just like driving around and uh, complaining about toll bridge prices so I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching calendar is available I thank you very much and I will see you all next week cheers guys bye bye